Shalom, Ozark Geek here. What we have here is a, uh, what we've referred to as a canned ham uh, that was uh, being uh, discussed on um, the uh, Bear Independence uh, uh, channel and his YouTube channel. Um, and this consists of a two-way radio brand uh, dual band uh, UHF mobile radio 25 watts antenna input it's got a volt ohm meter power supply and uh, about seven amp hours of battery underneath turned on you see the channels are the display is lit um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to hook up the microphone to it, the uh, J-pole uh, roll-up antenna, uh, and program it, or not program it, but, uh, but run it. It comes with a cigarette lighter adapter that you can plug it into a vehicle, battery adapter so that you could hook it up to a car battery or some other vehicle for input. Also includes the manual and program cable program cable goes here in place of the mic while you're programming it. It comes with software. Um, I initially thought this was going to be able to be used with uh, Chirp to program. Found out that no, you don't even want to think about Chirp. Uh, and one comment that I read has, it is possible to brick that radio using Chirp. So I'm going to pause this for a minute and then we're going to take the uh, the J pole here and hang it from a tree up here and try a QSO between the radio and a portable. Stand by. Okay, we're back. Now, what I've done is just for uh, showing basics of how it works. Here's the uh, microphone plugged into the radio. Currently, the radio is on a uh, uh, National Weather Service radio channel and the J pole is only about I don't know maybe 10 feet in the air at the moment so what I'm going to do is uh, change the channel So, for testing, I've got both radios on the same channel. Uh, this is an FRS channel. And obviously, no farther than I am from it, you'll be able to hear it. Let me turn the volume up on this thing and see how well it works. All right, so now I've got both the handheld and the radio supposedly on the same frequency. Uh, let's see how it is. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay. Hopefully you could you could hear the radio kicking out. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, you heard the uh, uh, end tones. From that but no farther than I am and then uh, we'll test the other way basically I'm just confirming that everything is programming these radios are talking testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three okay so that's proof that they're both working again this radio, this specific model, I'll see if I can put up after I get this posted what the specific model is for this radio. This is a Taiwanese 2 meter 440. It also has the ability 
to listen to uh, 220 megahertz. Um, so if that's of interest to you, then that's a, a good way to go. Um, I emailed the, uh, the guy that put these together and uh, he said it might be possible to order one of these minus the radio uh, for a specific model if you have one. Um, obviously he'd have to change some logistics possibly where the speaker goes in order to accommodate uh, a bigger, wider radio. So anyway, proof of concept, that's how it's working. Um, if you like what you see, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you want, and uh, we'll see you down the next time. Ozark Geek out.